this is actually taking a lot longer than I expected. First I'm just trying to see what the grain looks like, uh, slightly burnt, and uh, depending on how it looks, which right now, I don't know, it looks like the 70s, and there's a lot of fashion statements from the 70s that I'm kind of fine with, but I'm not sure if this is one of them. This reminds me of old water beds, living room furniture of pine so I don't know I don't know if it's going to be good like that either that's oak this is elm so I guess if I go ahead and char it up like that if anything I can just sand it off plane it down and start over we'll see what happens sounds like I'm running out of propane So, I saw a video on wood turning video where they're doing a similar procedure and then they put on a uh, colored paste that then filled in the grain pattern with that color and you just wipe it off and it actually made a really nice finish. Um, and essentially, what you're looking for is the wood to glow red hot, almost like steel. And that is what you're trying to achieve. That's what you're getting going for. So let's see if we can I got it with the oak. Let's see if we can do it with the elm. very difficult to do one-handed, holding my phone, trying to film with the other. Uh, and once, once I'm done with this, I'm going to take it inside and wash it, and then um, I'll probably put a coat of shellac on before I proceed with putting the groove in it and drilling the, the hole. Okay, that's the red hot I'm looking for. I don't know if you can see that. Alright, now I just got to take the stuff out inside, it rinse it off, and I will get back to the rest of the process. Alright, so quick uh, follow on to what we just did. Um, two things here. One, I probably, if I do this again, I'm going to 
apply some sort of sealer to the wood first. Because uh, something I didn't think about until uh, it's too late. But once I started washing this and scrubbing it in the sink, obviously the rest of this is still exposed to water. And at some point, whether it was from the heat or the water, um, these cracks opened up in the side here. Um, so now, that could have been from what I just did. Or the other uh, thing that I, I was nagging me that I didn't really address ahead of time was it's from a large piece of oak that was cut down uh, I don't know when. And I found it next to a tree stump uh, down the street from where I work. And I took it home last summer, cut it up into blocks, and I've just had it sitting in the garage ever since. So it's sit been sitting in the garage over a year now. Uh, it was a very hot summer, but it was also very humid as well. Uh, and I don't have a moisture meter, so I really don't know what the moisture content on this oak was uh, before I got into it. I don't know how long it had been sitting there. This elm, however, um, that was standing dead for a very long time and was cut down just for me. So we went from standing and draining out to down and cut up and in my garage. Um, so I know it was dead for a long time. The bark was already falling off and it was obviously had been there a while versus this oak. I, I don't know how long that had been there. So I don't know what the moisture content was. So that was probably a large factor there. So it's not smoking. What you see right now is steam, which is why I can touch it. Um, I took it in the house, washed it, and then uh, this occurred to me. So I went ahead and microwaved it for a minute, took everything out, dried it off, put it back in, microwaved it for another minute as well. So we'll see what happens. I'm not sure how these are going to come out. Maybe the rustic end state will be cool or maybe it won't be and it's a learning experience so we'll find out all right like i said like and subscribe follow us on facebook everything bye <laughs>